Well, for more on the markets, I'm now joined by Peter Anderson, founder of Anderson Capital Management. Peter, hi. Thanks for joining us. Markets for the last few months have hung on every word that Jerome Powell says, and he is speaking again shortly. But do you think that Friday's strong jobs report have created an extra challenge for the Fed? The Fed has so many challenges currently. And of course, last Friday's blowout number surprised everybody. I don't think anybody had that high an estimate. So that did set us off balance. But interestingly, the market, uh, I think, will respond more favorably once it digests the shock of that number. And I also want to add that uh, sometimes there can be statistical anomalies. So let's not place too much faith in that number. There may be revisions. We're just not certain yet. So while I was surprised by it, uh, I take it as one of many, many metrics out there that we need to focus on to get a, a sense of where we're going. What tone, though, do you think Jerome Powell is likely to strike today? It's anybody's guess, isn't it? And uh, I think he's very careful. It's almost comical now because any kind of press conference or anything he says, we have now evolved to the point where I think we might even be correcting his grammar when uh, we see these transcripts. So my guess is we won't hear anything new because let's think of it, last Friday, I mean, there's only been several days, two trading days since then. And uh, although we are anxious to get a clearer picture, we just have to be patient. So uh, he has shown remarkable patience with the questions because he's not an oracle either. He has the same data we do. And we're all so eager to get out of this malaise and turn on to a steady rally, aren't we? Well, investors certainly seem divided in their predictions. Some mm. continue to prepare for a recession, while others think the Fed can pull off a soft landing. Where do you stand? I am definitely in the soft landing camp. I think the Fed has done a remarkable job. And for those that know me, I don't pass out those compliments easily. I think that inflation is showing a beautiful trend of decreasing over the past uh, six months. And we haven't even reached the one year anniversary of the tightenings that he's done. This March will be one year. So I think he's setting the stage up perfectly because he's uh, measured now. He's slowing the hikes, the most current hikes. And I expect a couple more maybe of 25 basis points. But by then it will merge perfectly, very artistically, I might add. Unusual to compliment a Fed in that direction, isn't it? But uh, very artistically blended with the timing of the hikes that he has done over the past year. So I am very much in the camp of a uh, soft landing and I'm very optimistic about this year going forward. Well, thanks so much for that optimistic insight. Peter Anderson, founder of Anderson Capital Management.